Hey, my lovelies, it's exotic and bad. Welcome back to my intuitive channel. Those that are new, welcome to my beautiful collective intuitive channel reading. Those that have been with me for a while, welcome back, my soul fam. Happy TGIF. What, 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 what? Whoop, whoop. Happy Friday, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and get with it, lovelies. I know I'm crazy. I just like to go ahead and joke around. That's just my spirit. I just keep it a buck. Anyways, anywho, we're going to go ahead and get with it, y'all. So today is Friday, September 8, 2023. I got a lot of these downloads on this morning at 8 a.m. So number 88 is very significant on this day. Number 88 is the spiritual meaning means a powerful symbol of manifestation, abundance, and success as well as personal growth in relationships. So any type of relationship. So it could be personal, it can be business, any type of relationship when it comes to you. Okay, collective reminder, everything is connected in the universe. Everything is basically intergalactic and everything works in unison. Okay, just keep it a buck. Just remember. Now, keep in mind, this is a general collective reading. Please take what resonates, leave behind the rest. Okay, gender roles can be flipped. A male could be a female, female could be a male. When it comes to energies, this could be the past, the present, or the future. Okay, my lovelies. Now, I did get another download, very specific, a very clear audience message. I got, they want to compete with you, but they can't compare. Someone wants your throne collective. Hmm. Yeah, I can resonate. So someone obviously has their eye on you, Collective. I'm hearing their eye and they're sending you the evil green eye as well. They want to compete. They are secretly competing with you behind the closed doors in 5D as well in spirituality for some of those, for those of you. Very significant. Okay. Um, I also have, they want your crown, but I, guys. I have, they want your crown, but they don't know how to put in the work. Okay. Yeah, they want the title, they want the crown, the title, but they don't want to put in the work collective. I'm hearing this person has a lot of healing work to do before they even get anywhere near your energy. I'm hearing you guys have some serious big shoes to fill, okay? So that can be very significant. And I have, because your true work isn't defined by just your paycheck collective, okay? I have the number one question is, What's your worth in the spirit realm? Hmm. Ponder that a bit, okay? Remember, you can't take this lifestyle with you, collective. You can't take this money with you. You can't take the cards. You can't take the clothes, the gems, whatever. Lifestyle, flashy, flashy. You can't take it with you. This is just a vessel. Remember that. You are just on, you are in a vessel. This is different. This is a whole nother realm that we're in right now, okay? Stay woke. Being about, I have Anubis and my yacht energy, okay? Anubis and my yacht vibes, very significant. So not only when I saw the question, when I heard the question, what's your word in the spirit realm? I got the weighing of the heart, soul, would take place in Duat, aka the underworld, okay? In which the dead were judged by Anubis using a feather, Okay, collective, using a feather. Using a feather. Whoa, look at that. Confirmation. <laughs> using a feather representing Mayat, the goddess of truth and justice. What, what? Can I get a bow? It was 404 on the clock. Can I get a clap, a round of applause, y'all? Remember, my aunt was responsible for maintaining order in the universe. Okay? So my yacht is very significant. Anubis is very significant. Now look how messed up this is, y'all. I got goosebumps when I got this collective. When I got this specific reading, I was like, no, there's, there's no way. No way, no way. I got this specific download at 8 a.m. Today we are on 9-8. Look how it is. And I just said 8-8, eight, eight, right? Listen to this. Look how this adds up. <laughs> Funny. It's hilarious, y'all. In ancient Egyptian mythology, the ancient Egyptians believed that number eight had no significance in this life. 
aka this realm that we are currently living. Remember I just said something about that what we are living in is something different and I was just asking about the worth in the spirit. What's your worth in the spiritual realm? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. Pay attention. Keep listening. But the energy will be taken with you into the next life. So whatever you do in this world, in this realm, whatever energy that you are in and harboring or sending out, it's going to be taken with you into the next realm. Okay? Into the next life. A.K.A. what? Reincarnation. The symbolic meaning of the number eight was prevalent in ancient culture. Okay? In ancient cultures, as they devoutly believed in reincarnation. So the number eight also speaks up to reincarnation. My aunt Anubis reincarnation. 88. It all comes in unison. That's just to show you. Remember, collective, everything is connected in the universe. That's just to prove to you right here, those downloads. That's freaking scary. <laughs> And we truly are living in the Matrix Collective. Use your discernment. Come on. They want to keep you stuck in this Matrix. That is very, very significant, you guys. I also have positive affirmations are needed at this time. Okay, some of you guys may have been going through some darkness of the soul for my collectives. Okay, some of you guys are ascending. Positive affirmations are needed, my lovelies. Take your selenite wand as well and cleanse and clear yourself and the energies around you, okay? You can even use this as a Reiki healing, okay? Just FYI, FYI, just some tips. I also have shadow band and fluctuation in numbers, followers, and likes, and etc. So for my collective that are on platforms like myself youtube tiktok whatever okay you guys have noticed that you are on this in the shadow band energy you have realized a fluctuation in your numbers your followers in your lights everything keeps going up and down one day you see oh everything goes up and then when you notice you're going up all of a sudden you're like hitting this plateau it's because you're being shadow banned youtube do better come on now so they don't want us to get these truths. They don't want us to get the truth and these messages out. But we're going to do it anyways because we work for what? The most high collective, right? I have someone has a blocked heart chakra. Healing work is needed. Didn't I say that? Okay. So it could be a karmic energy that is surrounding you guys. Whomever it is, it's because they have a blocked heart, blocked heart chakra. A lot of healing is necessary okay rose quartz rose quartz guys is very very good when you're doing your meditation and chakra balancing okay my lovelies i got they didn't want to let it go collective so whoever it is that had a bone that kept on wanting to mess with you it kept on effing with you behind closed doors and secret thinking you didn't know at 8 33 in the clock when i said that they had huge ego problems i'm hearing god complex as well Keep your heart open, my lovelies. Keep doing your healing work because blessings are on the way. So no matter what energies or projections are being sent towards you, just remember, Wusa, meditate, balance, stay grounded, keep your heart open. If you guys got to go ahead and meditate with Rose Quartz to help you, do it because your blessings are on its way. In order for you to receive, you have to stay open for that. Remember that, okay? The enemy doesn't want you to have an open heart. They want you to have resentment. Resentment. I said resentful. Right. You're, the karmic is very resentful. You guys just remember, go within. Do all you got to do. To get that anger out, you got to do some boxing. You got to do whatever it is you guys got to do to get it out. Do get it out in a positive way. But remember, just forgive them for yourself. Okay, so that way the new blessings and new can start coming in. I love y'all. <laughs> so I have, they are in tears collective. Someone is going through an emotional breakdown right now as we speak. Okay, they are having, they're going through it. They're just stalking you probably behind the scenes, creating fake profiles is what I'm hearing. They're probably asking people, 
that may have known about you or was somehow connected to you oh hey have you heard about so and so how are they doing and they're like oh yeah actually i heard about so and so i saw whatever through the grapevine so and so is doing great they're the best they're the happiest that we've ever seen and that has this person in tears i'm hearing in enraged this person has a lot of healing work we'll do some shadow work okay we can all evolve we can all evolve it's never too late okay so cross watcher energy if you are a karmic cross watcher go do the necessary healing work please okay i'm hearing maybe therapy trigger alert trigger learning there's no problem there's nothing against therapy guys we are now in this time of age that therapy is needed therapy is okay therapy is acceptable okay if there's something that someone is really struggling and can't get over i nine times out of ten is because you might need some healing work more deep inner shadow healing work it was just 1 11 on the clock when i said that okay so i'm getting learning lessons the hard way so that could be the karmic energy whomever it is that has been sending you the evil eye collective they are learning the lessons the hard way because what goes around comes around what goes around comes around collective remember that karma but you know what my lovelies keep your head up keep your crown up because keep going never quit okay you are divinely supported blessed loved okay my lovely i love you all so much i'll be back later on take care to the next time Bye bye